What is up, everybody? Phantom Knight here. And we're going to be in episode three of, I believe, ep- of season three, is it now? Um, but yeah, today in this episode, we're going to be playing against the New York Jets. We're going to be simulating the bye and then going down to Miami, across the coast, actually, to play the Dolphins. And in the last episode, we went two and two. Um, it, it honestly was like the best stretch of games that I've seen from this team as a whole. Not just the offense, but the defense was was pretty um, pretty good for us. And and the offense capitalized on the possessions that the defense gave to us, which was one of the reasons we we came out victorious. Um, in the Minnesota game, the defense played great, created some turnovers, and the offense was really good in that one. And in the Detroit game, on the road, again, very similar game. Um, and and um, the biggest the biggest sign um, was Irving not throwing as many interceptions. Uh, still threw, I believe, two in those games, um, and, and in the span of them. Um, however, a lot better, a lot better, um, definitely. And it it was really, it was really an inspirational, uh, set of games there to, to show that this team can, can compete. You know, I know it wasn't against the greatest opponents, um, in the league. However, I mean, it's still wins are wins, you know, and, and as they stack up, we need to, to win to get into the playoffs, and that's our goal this year. You know, we did make the defense. We bolstered the defense. Um, I believe we got better on offense, even though we did get rid of um, Julio Bowser. We did uh, pick up Kevon Barton in the draft, who has been spectacular for us. The deep threat with the absolutely blazing speed, I mean, there's nothing much to be said about him. But, or much more, I should say. But this combo with Juju Speaks as well, he they they've been playing like studs, and Burnett, Quan Burnett, been reliable. Not much more you can ask from him. Eight point eight average, nine point seven on uh, through the air, five touchdowns through the air, two on the ground. I mean, he's been one of our best players this season. Um. And of course, Bissy Hall is well. He's living up to his name, Busy. Um, I mean, he is a tackling machine, nearly averaging nine a game. Um, not as many of the sacks, forced fumbles, or interceptions as last season, but he's a tackling machine. And then the rookie Otten, he's been he's been all right. He's been solid. And but McKitty, same thing. He's been pretty solid for us. But the real disappointing player here is Deontay Vigil. Only two tackles through four games. Really disappointing. We're going to um, hope that he can come up clutch down the stretch um, of the season. And, and hopefully he can turn it around and, and end up having a pretty good rookie here. here. But uh, anyways, guys, we're going to be playing against New York, the New York Jets. And uh, hopefully we can pick up a win at home. And uh, they have a good defense, of course, that great defense. Um, but but hopefully we can say something about it. As the Jets do score on their opening drive, they take a little bit of time off the clock. However, uh, it doesn't matter. To, but, of course, that D-line does get to Irving. And that's going to be a problem kind of in this game as the corner batted it down. And that's Juju Speaks, I believe. Oh, no. Kavon Barton, wide open down the middle of the field. Breaks a tackle. Gets a gain of 54. The rookie showing his presence early in this one. And they're just going to toss it down to Juju Speaks. Trayvon Irving with another dime. And he's cooking now. Got hit on the play, but did not matter. And that one thrown to the undrafted rookie. Touchdown. The Cardinals respond in a huge manner. 
as the Jets do get some points on the board. However, only a field goal. Not too bad, as uh, the Cardinals do hold them. The Cardinals defense does hold them, as Trayvon Irving feels the pressure in his face and escapes and gets a gain of eight. As he feels pressure again, but this time he slides to the right and gets another gain of eight. Trayvon Irving showing his wheels early in this one. And again, the pressure is just going to him. He had nobody open, and he's going to dive, and he nearly gets the first down. But it's going to be second and inches, and they're going to just toss it to Burnett. Burnett gets the first down. And from here, the Cardinals are going to look to kill some time as they do not want to give the Jets too much time to uh, to end the half. As that's Burnett. Caught! What a catch! 14-yard gain for Kawan Burnett. The running back with a great, great catch. Had to jump for it, but I mean, he's he's athletic enough to do it. And that's Juju Speaks where they catch. And that's another first down for the Cardinals. And the Cardinals call a, do call a timeout here. And Irving tries to dial it up to uh, Barton, but cannot. But Juju Speaks with a catch. That's a touchdown for the Cardinals to end the half. And from the kick, it is 14-10. to 10. And the Cardinals do get the ball back to start the second half here. And Irving slides for a gain of eight. He's showing the wheels today. I mean, not really known for his, his running, but, I mean, he's just not really getting anybody open. And he doesn't slide there and gets a big hit on him, but does maintain control of the ball. And he does find a gap wide in the middle. And gets hit again. Maybe he should not be doing that. He should be sliding. Doesn't want to get hurt. And, I mean, it could be a a chance at a fumble here. Which would be detrimental to this team. As they do have the momentum right here. And Juju Speaks with another catch. Gets a gain of 12 on that one. Dives for the first down. I mean, he's he's been kind of like the the sleeper this year. Not really uh, been targeted as much as tried to dial it up to Barton there. But Barton, the, the defensive back, was there to deflect the ball. As Irving slides again for a gain of seven. And Burnett, they're going to toss it to him. Breaks a tackle. Gets a gain of five. Burnett oh, gets another carry and gets hit. And gets a gain of one. But he definitely felt that one. As Irving's going to throw it to Barton. That's a gain of 13 for Barton. And that's another Cardinals first down. Burnett, a gain of one there on the run. And honestly, they're going to try and the Cardinals are going to look to try and get some, kill some clock off this board. And uh, they're going to toss it, and it's broken up. Now, this is a big play here. What do they do? Do they go for it on fourth down? Or. Do they go for the field goal? And the Cardinals are going to be smart, actually. They're going to settle for it. They tried to jump him, make him jump, but they're just going to settle for the field goal and make this a one-score game, a touchdown game, actually. And it does prove to be a very important play, and that's Juju Speaks wide open in the middle of the field. 34-yard catch and run for the second year, man. Irving dialed it up early to him. On that uh, play. And Burnett. A 7 yard run on that one. And they're just going to look to kill clock here. As just a field goal will win this game. And another run by Burnett. They're going to hand it off to him again. He breaks a tackle and more. Gets 8 yards on that one. And Burnett. Just sealed this game. Dangerous play. One second remains on the clock. Oh, my. What Irving was thinking on that one. But, and the kick from Wiley is good. The Cardinals win it to end the game on a buzzer beater field goal. 
the winning streak continues as the defense is really the reason we won that game. However, the offense did show some signs. Um, and let's see the Jets' record. They were actually undefeated until that game. So we just beat an undefeated team. We, I'm telling you, this team has potential to do something great. And looking in the free agency room, I mean, we have already some some decent guys, but really the one guy that sticks out to me is this tight end right here, Von Emerson. Kind of, he's young still, 23 years old, but he's a very athletic and strong tight end and has great hands. Um, and that's kind of what we need. We kind of need that big guy, but at the same time, I don't want to, I don't know if I, I should, you know, we should bolster the defense a little bit. I don't know. Uh, this guy, Reggie Cootie, or Kauti, um, DB, pretty looks pretty good. Kind of fast, good at tackling, really good at tackling for the position. Um, but I don't know. I'm just going to stick what we have now, actually. Um, as I mean, let's look at the stats in the last, in the last game. Uh, Irving... Didn't throw it as much, but he did run for a good amount of yards, actually. Definitely his busiest performance on the ground so far in the year. Burnett, not really. We, 10 carries, I mean, not that much. I mean, their defense is really good and had, of course, that great catch. Kavon Bur Barton wasn't really too busy, had only two catches. Juju Speaks was definitely the main man, six catches on 91 yards and a touchdown. And then. Let's get McKitty only had three tackles on that game, but still putting up a good rookie year. And of course, Bissy Hall, the tackling machine with 10 on the game. Michael on zero. Vigil had two. All right. He's getting a little busier. And then Wiley, of course, perfect still on the year. Um, I mean, really, Bissy Hall is the heart and soul of this defense. I mean, this year he hasn't gotten as many or hasn't gotten any of the you know, turnovers or anything like that, or big plays. However, he's just a tackling machine. He's going to be at every tackle made. Um, and he has an impact on this defense. He plays with the energy. He is the captain of the defense, as he is the middle linebacker. And and he's, I mean, he's playing like he's a, uh, a veteran in this league. Um, like he's done this like many years already. Uh, that's how good he is. And I think he'll be really good on this team for years to come. As through the bye week, we're gonna team. We need to get better. As Michael Otten gets an increase, and we're gonna upgrade his tackling. And let's look at the standings so far. We are three and two. We're still in the hunt. As Seattle is five and one, and San Francisco did have their bye week as well. They're five and zero. Oh. And throughout the league, um. Only one team remains that's undefeated, and that's San Francisco in our division. That'll be our tough game. I believe we do play them, uh, yes, week nine at their place, and then we play them later in the season, in the last game of the season, uh, at home. Um, so that game could actually be a very important one coming down the stretch at the end of the season. Um, but we still are in the, in the hunt. Um, we need to knock out one of these teams. Uh, maybe it will be in this next week. Who knows? But, uh, as you can see in the AFC, uh, the division leaders, and, and that's a pretty tough uh, conference over there. Look how many teams are uh, 500 or, or even better. Uh, that's going to be a, tough conference in. Um, but anyways, let's just get right into the to the game against Miami as they are actually 3-3 three and three as they're sell, themselves. And uh, oh, I don't want to find them. I'm going to I'm gonna just ignore it. It brought the morale 5 down. Okay. Not what we wanted, but we're, they're going to wear their they're going to wear their alternate. Actually, they're going to wear their color rushes. 
And we're going to just go our stock away. But here we go. Start the game off. They're going to run to Burnett. Breaks a tackle and barely gets to the line of gain. I'm sorry, the, the line of scrimmage. And they're going to hand it off to Burnett again. And breaks a tackle. Gain a four on that one. And here is going to be uh, where they set up the pass a little bit. And Irving just did not find a receiver. And honestly, they say screw it. We're just going to go for it. And Barton's wide open. That's actually Juju Speaks. Burnt the DB. Juju Speaks down the field. Gets a little tired and gets tackled from behind. That's a 54-yard gain, and they are in Dolphins territory. What a play by the Cardinals. What a play design as Irving's just going to scramble out of the pocket here. And Irving dives, gets a gain of 10, but is short of the first down. Um... What a play by Irving. Is He's shown that he, he can he can be a scrambling quarterback. I mean, not really known for it, especially coming out of college. But And this one, and he dimes it to Juju Speaks, and that's a touchdown. What a drive by the Cardinals to start the game. Dominant performance here in this one. As Miami, of course, with their quick offense, does score nearly immediately. And Barton makes two guys miss. And Barton is gone. Barton is going to score. What a play by the rookie. Touchdown, Barton. 59 yards. Nice. Catch and run. And Wiley doinks it in, but he remains perfect on the air. And Miami does score again, keeping pace with the Cardinals here. And that's Juju Speaks caught. Gets a gain of 11, and that's another Cardinals first down. Hand it off to Burnett. Breaks a tackle. Gets a gain of three. They're going to hand it off to Burnett again, and he is lucky if he gets a gain of one. And they're going to give it to him, but, I mean, that was, that was a great play by their defense. And Juju Speaks goes up and gets it. 73-yard catch. What a play by the, two year, the second-year man and Burnett. Runs it outside and gets to the line of scrimmage. And the Cardinals have one, maybe two more plays here. And that's batted down. And they're just going to go for a kick. And that's Wiley. The kick is good. 45-yarder from the kicker. And Miami does score to start the half. And that's the undrafted rookie where the 12-yard gain and gets a first down to start the, the half here. I'm sorry, the, our drive. And Burnett get, breaks a tackle and gets a gain of 13. What an explosive play there by Burnett. Burnett makes a guy miss and gets a gain of 9. Burnett's starting to heat up here a little bit. Burnett runs outside, gets a gain of 3, but gets the first down. And they're going to look to dial it up. And that's Barton, I believe. Barton with another touchdown. He's been busy in this one. Kick by Wiley is good. He's been automatic this year. Not really a question if it's going to go down. And, of course, the Cardinals, what a play. They got the ball back somehow. Turned it over or turnover on downs. I don't know. but Or forced a punt. But they get it almost immediately, so it must have had been a turnover. And the defense is showing that they're going to be hopefully a top defense in the league, uh, commanded, of course, by Bissy Hall. And the Cardinals are forced with a 3-6 and six here. But they're going to dial it up again. Juju speaks on this one. And that's a touchdown, Cardinals. making it a two-score game on this one, on the Wiley PAT, and that one is good. But Miami does get a field goal, and this one's just nothing but over. Arizona wins their second game of this episode, and they are four game, they're on a four-game win streak here. And they're showing that they're going to be a playoff team. 
The trade deadline is this week. But to be honest, I think we can roll with this team. Uh, they've been playing solid. Irving played really good. As you can see, the, the interceptions have, have really taken a dip, which is really good for this team. Um, Burnett was, was pretty solid. Uh, Barton, great, great game. Kind of a Randy Moss style line there. Uh, Juju Speaks, very great game. Um, McKitty, five tackles on the game. Busy Hall only had five, but that's okay because Michael Allen had seven, so that's good. And Vigil had none. You know, the five-star rookie, when I drafted him, I, I, I expected him to be a playmaker and has been short, very short of that. Um, very, very short of that. And And I don't know, I don't know what, what he needs, what what more he needs to be that playmaker. As we do enter ourselves in the wild card as the seventh seed here. Um, but, the, but the Cardinals do not want to focus really on the playoffs. They just want to take one game at a time, win one at a time, and see what where it goes from there. But anyways, guys, in the next episode, we will, play, we'll be, we will be playing against the Rams and the 49ers. Um, tough. Tough kind of week, playing two division rivals here. And San Francisco, of course, undefeated. Maybe it changes in the next episode. But anyways, guys, um, I hope you had a great day. This is Fandom Night. Peace. Mm -hmm.